I thought that's what it was there for. <laughs> Chris, how's your role kind of changed with the, the Tiger going down? Um, as of lately, I've been playing point guard for the second group. So um, I've been trying to fill in Tiger's shoes uh, as best as I could. Um, and just to help the team out in practice because other than Tiger, we really had no other true point guard. So I've been trying to do my best to do the job he was doing before what happened happened. How do you think it's gone? Um, it's been all right. It's been a learning, it's been a learning curve. Um, I've just been trying to make sure to keep my turnovers down uh, and just be simple. Don't try to do anything extra, you know, get into the plays and uh, make sure everybody's doing the right thing. Uh, yeah, pretty much. How much point guard you played previously? Um, well, it depends. I've been quite versatile since I started. So, like, I mean, I've been on the ball. I'm no, like, stranger to being on the ball. So I wouldn't necessarily consider it point guard, but I've been on the ball before a lot, bringing it up, uh, guarding the point guard, all that, all that stuff. Um, but this is the first time I've ever been considered, like, the point guard. So, but I've had experience in it, so I'm no, uh, no rookie. Coach kind of threw out the Kyle Anderson comparison. Yeah. Do you like hearing that? Yeah, actually. Um, Kyle did a great job when he was here. Um, I've never seen anybody like Kyle just make the right decision every single time. Uh, with his size, I mean, that's something that you've never seen other than like Magic Johnson. Someone his size <laughs> playing the point guard. So um, I take that as a compliment, definitely a big compliment. When was the last time like your primary role was being on the ball? Primary role? Uh, I'd probably say back in high school before I transferred to West Virginia, uh, before I transferred to Huntington. I played a lot more on the ball in Texas um, at Country Day. So I'd probably say then. Um, but there were no positions back then. I played, I uh, pretty much played it all. I'd just bring it up sometimes if if a um, primary guy was out. What's your expectation for this group this season? One more time. What's your expectation for this group this season? Um, I, we got a great group this season. I uh, got a lot of length, a lot of size. Um, Big Moses, 7-2. Got Big J Hill coming back. Um, Chris and I, um, even Jay Hans at point guard, 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, six, his arms, um, so I think we'll be pretty special. Um, we got a nice group. We're young, not much experience, but I mean, as soon as these guys get their feet wet, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be pretty good. How have you felt they've kind of blended in as a group, the freshmen? <clears throat> uh, the freshmen have come in and uh, they've done their best job so far. Um, I mean, doing everything they're asked of uh, so far, I think they're perfect teammates. Um, they're falling right in spot. And I can see that we're going to have a great year if they keep it up. What are you looking forward to most about seeing uh, Jay Hill and Cody back on the court? Um, they practiced with us a lot uh, in the spring last year when they came back from that whole situation. Um, and they look pretty good together. Um, I know Jay Hill is a freak athlete, 6'10", guy jumps out the gym. Uh, Cody, he's a big guy, but he's really, the guy's a guard as well. Uh, those guys are like uh, one of a kind of players. Um, I expect a big year out of them. Um, both of them good leaders. They're coming back. They didn't play last year, but they've got some experience. They know how to do it. Um, so I'm expecting them to come back, uh, do a great job on the court, but off the court, even a better job, helping the freshmen do their job. You have to, when you see Moses every time you see him, is it kind of, I uh, see you smiling, just interesting to see somebody that tall. Yeah, last year it was Tom, the guy I had to look up to, Tom and like Gigi. Um, so I try to stay around them so no one asked me how tall I was. <laughs> um, now it's definitely Moses. I stay with Moses, no one asks me how tall they are. I have to like break my neck to see Moses. That does not happen for me. So uh, it's always funny whenever I see him, try to stand, stand next to him, talk to him, look him in the eyes. I always got to look up. Never, ever had to do that before. Did he have kind of a wild play in practice yet where you guys were like, whoa, like wild that? play? Yeah, like a wild play, yeah. Everybody has wild plays. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has wild plays. When you're trying to make plays, that's when wild plays happen. So, yeah, he's had one, I've had one, and everybody else on the team had one. What did you work on in the off season to improve your game? Um, my shooting, is, uh, I had a pretty tough year last year. Um, so my shooting, I've been putting the emphasis on that. Uh, I worked on my ball handling making sure I'm in better shape so I can uh, 
staying for longer times and keep the same energy. Um, and just, uh, I guess, just learning everything, every possible position, everything, getting better on defense. Just trying to solidify my all-around game, pretty much. Nothing that I really put the biggest emphasis on, but everything just all around, pretty much. In what ways has Jalen helped you kind of learn this new point guard position? Jalen Hans. Yeah. Uh, well, always watching him, uh, either being on the team with him in practice or on the other team, just watching him, seeing him facilitate. Um, big thing with him is pace. He's really fast. <laughs> He keeps the tempo up, and uh, he knows how to get people in the right spots, and he knows how to make sure everybody's doing what they've got to do. So I've just been trying to do what he's done. Um, with Tiger being more of a facilitating guard and Jalen being more of a scoring, I've been trying to balance both those out and myself. Um, so both of them, with Jay Hands having played last year, he uh, set the ground. So I've just been trying to watch him um, on and off the court and just trying to, I guess, replicate what he's been doing. So it's just pretty much just watching him. That's what he's been doing. Hey guys, I want to bring David in. Yep.